That's very low. All right, straighten up and fly right here, buddy. There we go. <clears throat> and as you can see, our uh, nose wheel is a lot lower down than our tail wheels. Um, that's to give us a little bit a better of an angle of attack when we, we try to uh, take off. Uh, and like I say, we could, it is possible to, to overdo that and cause some issues. Uh, and we've, there's no telling right now as to whether we actually have caused some issues, but uh, we'll just give it a shot and see what it looks like. Do a little trial and error testing. Uh, I also want to go ahead and uh, put some struts connecting these things together. So I'll go ahead and do that off camera, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, and I'm back. Um, uh, I put all the struts here to connect all the fuselage parts together. Uh, connect them on the other underside as well. Uh, last thing we need, so that our little Kerbals can get out of their space plane, uh, is a ladder. Ah, nope, you don't go there. There we go. They also have uh, little ladder rungs. Let me see if I can show you those. These things. Thing is, these these three rungs weighs just as much, or just as little as the the big ladder. So there's no point in even going with the rungs unless you have some sort of special uh, ge geometric issue to to uh, overcome. So, okay. Now, I have not tested this aircraft. I have not saved it yet. Let me save it as. Uh, uh, Shuttle Enterprise. Uh, save. And we'll launch. And again, I have not tested this. I only just saved it just then. Uh, it could uh, totally be a total disaster. Uh, I don't know. This is part of the things you have to deal with when you're making space planes. And like I said, space planes are harder than uh, to do than rockets. And that's going to come down with a plunk. Ouch. There we go. Ooh, not good. All right. But well, we're fine. Let's go ahead and uh, we've got uh, Desvi Barfel and the world famous Shep and Kerman uh, piloting today. Uh, they'll be your pilots for this flight. Uh, let's go ahead and throttle it up. Cross our fingers. See what we got. And we have a staging issue. And fly. I never remember to check this, the damn staging. It's like I just never remember it. Oh, there is also another thing. Good thing we're back here. There's also another thing we need to do uh, that I forgot. Let's go ahead and put on a braking parachute. This is to help us slow down if we come in a little too hot. So, try to avoid what I've, I've just done, which is totally blow off thinking about staging, because the game does not really stage things the way that you generally would want them to, want it to. Uh, it stages it in its own cockeyed view of reality. Okay, now we got some uh, braking parachutes. These guys will drop off on this stage. Uh, and this is our main uh, stage with our engine. Alright, save. And launch. Uh, this is totally unstaged and unrehearsed, and it could end in a big fireball. So, but this is the sort of thing you'll have to encounter when you do your own space plane. So, let's find out. Ah, shit. Sorry. There is another thing I forgot. Now, like I said, this is live and unrehearsed. Or not live, you'll, you'll not be seeing it live, but it is uh, completely unrehearsed as it happens. We have to connect up the fuel. That's always a good thing to do, is connect up the fuel. This fuel tank will be going here, uh, in a perfect world. There you go, alrighty. And this fuel tank, in a perfect world, will be going right here. Alright. Save again. 
And launch. Oh, they give us new astronauts this time. That's disappointing. Oof. Okay. With great fear and trepidation, let's start this mission. In five, four, three, two, one. No, 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 ah! I live, I live, I can make it, I can make it. Actually, weirdly enough, I'm flying, but that's not good. That's, uh, in flight. <laughs> okay, now, you know how before I said that, that this method of, uh, doing your landing legs could cause some problems? I think we were just seeing a evidence of that. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry. Pardon my language. Okay. Let's see if we can set this at a let less extreme angle. We still would like to have it... We still would like to have it a little bit lower than the other one, than the front one, but I think that the way we had that before was causing us some minor problems. Okay. Let's do our landing gear test right quick. Maybe slightly better. Okay. Enterprise. Mark two. Save and launch. Ouch. Okay. I'm going to turn on uh, find control with the caps lock key. Uh, see if that helps me a little bit. It may not. Alrighty. Enterprise Mark II in 3, 2, 1. Ah, uh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, well, we got off the ground. Jettison. Bye bye. <coughs> now, occasionally you'll create a space plane uh, if you do it a lot that works fine in the atmosphere. It works like hell in space. In other words, it's just inherently unbalanced. So, hopefully, this is not one of those. Uh, we're up at 60,000 feet. We're going to go ahead and not go to orbit. We're going to go ahead and uh, try to uh, try to land see if we can actually land this thing. Come on, baby. <laughs> it's, it's rolled on his butt like a great white whale, but it's not actually... Ah, uh, shit. Come on. It's because of it's going 500 meters per second. It's not uh, not really doing so good in the controllability factor. Uh, 
Well, let's go ahead and uh, get back in the atmosphere again and see how we do. Because right now, I'm not doing so great. We are, in fact, out of control. There, stay. RCS on. This will also happen to you if you uh, try to um, maneuver too early in the re-entry process. You gotta wait until you, um, until you get kind of slowed down. Because right now we're going really, really fast. And it's not happy. And we're, and we're driving right down, right toward the ocean. That's not making anybody happy either. Okay, here we go. Up, up. sound. Okay, I gotta reboot my game and then I'll meet you back in the vehicle assembly building. 